Hey, Dana here, and welcome to Searching For. Well, I got it. It finally came. What I'm talking about. Well, I'm, I'm tired of using 15 and 20 year old uh, components. And I said, that's it. I'm done. I'm not. I'll, I'll use them. I'll use them to an extent. But I'm gonna up, I want I want to upgrade. So what I'm using right now is a generation two five inch and a generation one gen one uh, generation uh, one seven inch in the H HDSs, which I am never gonna work right. So I said that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to not the newest model, but the next one, the the uh, not the current model, but the 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 model prior to the current. So what I'm talking about is I've got a Lawrence, and it's a Ti2 nine inch. The newest one is a TI, uh, the TI Live. So, um, and costs twice as much as what I just bought. So, it isn't brand spanking new. It was used, and I got it from Russell Marine. I follow, I was following them on YouTube on how to use some of the equipment. So we now have a used Elite TI2 9. So this is probably two years old as far as the units are concerned. Um, so it's it's still you can see all the stuff that goes along with it. Um, this is unboxed like it was, but thank God they sent me a uh, sent me a mount. And he says it's warranty on it. It's 30 days on no questions asked. So. Company down the road anyway, and they are an authorized uh, Lawrence company. Just happened to have a used one available. They sell brand new ones. So but, um, the TI is a touch touch screen. It will work with my. Oh, it does. He does have a cable with it. Awesome. Uh, the thing with this is now I can do now I can use my newest uh, transducer which is a three in one active scan and I don't have to worry about uh, my old structure scan because uh, that took the place of it so let's see my power cable it's going to be the uh, the plug for the plug for the trans transducer. Now I should be able to get all the images I need. Um, set it up like they show me on the. Can't find any real uh, videos. I didn't have to do all that. I really can't find any videos on the old equipment so set up and everything this thing here you can set up what for wi-fi um, or text on your phone you can use the same same power cable that i already have so i don't have to deal with that um, so we'll do certain pulling that 
this is our sun this white white screen on here is the sun sun protector this is what she looks like yeah plenty of plenty of view you can have up to four three views up to three views on here at a time so i can have side scan i can have down scan i can have my navigation so what i've been complaining about is i've got my navigation my speed my speed and my depths um and inaccurate depth uh, coming down so uh, let's go ahead and get i'm going to go ahead and move my seven inch out of the way and i'm going to put it in the, the place of the seven and put you over here back of the way. That's the seven. Go ahead and pull that, pull that one out. Put the new one in. I just use self. I just use self tapping on these. I'm gonna put it in. Now this is a this is a first generation seven I got here. Let me see. Okay, we can compare the size of it. Nice thing about the about that elite is it is touch touch screen. <laughs> I'll be able to use the same holes. Original one that I was looking at here, as far as what I'm how I want to look at that. Nah, it's too far over. I need to be back on this one. That's too much of a. And then eventually, what I'm going to wind up doing is probably getting a. I'll be upgrading, upgrading to a. Um, probably a carbon. Live system so because then uh, I'll be able to see either carbon live or uh, a, uh, HDS HDS in a live or a standard uh, standard HD HDS carbon Live and the carbons. Or what will run the live system where you can actually see what's moving.
Yep, same. Same pins. have to bring any I don't have to bring any cabling from over there plugging in here because I can actually it's technically obsolete now um, if I want some way I can still use the structure scan with the the five if I want or use the structure scan with the the seven so where I'm at right now, we need to, I need to change out the transducer. This takes this thing here with all the components in it now takes the place of this. So um, this is the transducer. This is the transducer for that. So um, thing is I don't have another. We were using two two Ethernets. The, both of them were going through the structure module. Um, I what I'm doing is putting the seven, putting the other, buying another um, trolling motor um, bracket, putting it over here. But this the system here. Is our, is taking the place of the structure structure scan. Don't have to use that. Don't have to use that system anymore. So what I did here is I got another pole. I got another, another pole for a skimmer for my for my skimmer now. That's strictly, that's strictly down scan. But you know, again, and that's that's this one here. That's extension. That's the skimmer. There's the there's the skimmer. Now here's the three. Here's the three and one transducer, and <laughs> they said it wouldn't work with the generation one or generation two controllers. So. Um, they were pretty much right. This was upside down. So that was, they said, 
I don't know. I was getting the same indications off of the the regular structure transducer. So I kind of set things up for that. Let's go ahead and get the swap the transducers out. One of them right here. swapped out um, I went ahead and zip tied this one on here worked good temporary 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 setup I guess it'd be just in case so. now I don't know if the trans I don't know if the, the deal with the regular that transducer would have with the other one I don't know if I could use the structure transducer without the module for this one but so unfortunately just can't pull this off of here I've got to undo that structure mod now, of course, the structure mod, I got all these screws in it. All I need to worry about right now is getting, getting the cable. On, the, on that. All right, we all one six screws in. Yeah, we're coming here. Back up. Lined up. Bolt. Hey, you're not going on one. Hear that. This one here. Back on here. There you go. 
Okay. Let you going up along here. And that's going to go straight into the machine. <laughs> um, I'll just use that. I'll just put that. I just use that and put that in there. Okay. There's a. Put this. going it doesn't have to go 20 feet it's gonna go right here well we need that because it's gonna drop take this out drop down I don't know if I can let it drop down now I got the, you got the thing in there Face forward, we're going down. In. And it's about right, it's right under the right in the pole. Mm -hmm. a little bit too low. Just needs to skim just below the boat. It doesn't have to be under the boat. It's coming about there. About there. And it's coming right here. So it's not. Well, I guess. Zip, uh, zip ties. Right here. You plug in right here. There she goes, straight. Twist. There we are. She's in there. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Curl in there. Tight. You're there. When you fire it up, you're going to want to make sure that when you go to select equipment, it's going to be looking for that skimmer. So basically can't do anything towards that tonight, but here we are. We now have the new, new system. I don't have a battery. I don't have my battery out here or anything to plug it in with. In two. So now I just got to decide what I'm going to do with that stuff over there. Um, I might put this oven. I don't know. I basically just want the second one for now, just for um, running my navigation. Um, but this does this does it all. So I don't really that that stuff over there is basically obsolete. Um, but again. Uh, more more eyes down there um, that's why I'm thinking to go ahead and just keep that where it is but until I can afford a live the lives are like two thousand dollars so um, that's that's kind of where I'm <laughs> where I'm at with that so I might have just I'll just be using what I got for the time being um, I've already got this set up so I can put this skimmer on it. This skimmer will also go on the on my motor back there. And I can run that up to that one. So kind of got all kinds of options options here. 
And again, the more the more eyes, as you want to say, the better you're going to be. Um, I can put this on the motor, on the trolling motor, and then we can run that. I can run the IS. This one here. I'm not sure exactly what the functions are on this skimmer other than down. Might have down and temperature. Um, I don't know if it's got navigation or not. It might. Um, but. Huh. Kind of optional now. Decide what I want. Decide what I want to do. Okay, we'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. See what hanging for the moment. And uh let's see. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to bring it all the way up. <laughs> That'll be my way. Just under it. Yeah, All right, so here we are. Um, that's a newer, being a newer, being a newer model, but you know, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions. Um, I messed around a little bit longer after this video. Uh, as you can see now, I've, I've installed the 7-inch Generation 1 HDS uh, unit next to the Elite TI-2 system. So, that's what I, you got the 9-inch, now we got the 7-inch. So, I'm going to run the Gen the uh, HDS probably off the skimmer is what I hooked up right now. Right now I've got a separate, I've got the, the uh, H, HDMI cable is plugged into the structure system so I can run the structure, uh, <coughs> the structure transducer off, off that system. So hopefully we'll be able to see something it's as far as getting the elite running right it should be no problem it's still messing around with the the old gen 1 that i was having a hard time with trying to get it to do what i needed to do so um but anyway that's the way that's the way i got it set up right now and we'll see see if it works thanks for watching don't forget to comment subscribe definitely share and you'll catch me on the next searching for. And again, thanks again, Russell, Russell Marine Products. Um, and the individual I keep in con contact with is Tanner. So thank you very much uh, for getting this to me as soon as possible. And uh, I'll definitely keep you up to date. And you guys can keep me up to date. And of course, you that are following me. Just look up Russell Marine Products. You can actually you can find them on YouTube. That's how I found them to begin with.